today's video, we survived 100 days in Minecraft, except we're a sniffer. Yup, me and my friends joined a multiplayer morph SMP, and this is how it went. The goals of the video is to create the biggest sniffer army, slay the ender dragon, and become the most powerful player on the server. Will we survive till the end? Watch till the end of the video to find out. But before we start, every subscriber we get on this video, I'm gonna be placing one TNT down. So claim your TNT by subscribing while you can. Finally, hit the like button for the algorithm, and let's get straight into it. Day one, we spawn in a very strange place, but we ended up being this thing, a sniffer. For those that don't know, this is a sniffer. The new Minecraft mob soon to be released in version 1.20. My boy also won the mob vote. It's said to be an ancient mob lost in the world, and today we get to be as yours truly, a relic to Minecraft itself. My surroundings was a little weird. It kind of looked like the inside of a shell or even an egg, but we went straight to work. We gotta figure out how to get more of us for the first challenge to build our sniffer nation. What comes first, the sniffer or the egg? Comment down below. I'm in some strange ancient underground place that we had to escape. We tried jumping over this little crevice. I'm risking it. I uh, oh my god, I made it. We took damage because of our weight or something. I guess that's one of the debuffs for being a sniffer in the first place. But regardless, I somehow made it. I got jumped for some mobs and almost died due to this skeleton. Dude had no chill. No wood was a major disadvantage as well because of the place we spawned in. But luckily, after a bunch of exploring, I ended up finding a mine shaft. There was also a goblin trader that slapped me in my face. So for some context, this is a Morph SMP, and we basically get to decide what mob we want to be. And it's an updated version, so it included sniffers and a couple of the new Minecraft mobs and I was basically at the spawn location so I needed to get out of here fast in the beginning the goblin trader actually stole my wood but we got it back Luckily, he was just trolling with us, it looked like. Went back to the egg to get the willow torch, and then I used the wood from the mine shaft to quickly make ourselves a pickaxe. We had to make do with what we got. After a bunch of mining, we finally found an exit, and we escaped the mines. But it took ages, but we're basically close to death now. I don't know why I'm saying this so nonchalantly, because look at my health bar right now. It's no bueno. Even though we have more hearts to work with, I, I just can't heal because I don't have any food. This was looking really bad for the challenge here. Any small flick over in my direction, or even a jump, that was incorrectly executed and we would be dead. I really want to check this out, not gonna lie, but no. <laughs> I I do not have the health for this at all whatsoever. We also ended up finding this pirate ship that looked like they had really good loot, but we also noticed that there's pillages on there, so maybe we should back off from that. We'll do that later. I'm definitely coming back for that loot. Luckily for us, we found ourselves a smaller shipwreck. Decided to loot it, we got some diamonds before even finding any food. That's kind of crazy. No way I get myself some diamonds and I end up dying and losing the challenge here. And then our savior, the potato. There were so many potatoes. Okay, not that many. They were like nine, but basically we decided to smelt it all up. Your boy munching good tonight. Not really. It was terrifying and it was probably really cold for my character. Plus it was nighttime and we just had to sit there. End of the day, we did get some food and sustenance. So, I mean, hey, at least we're safe within here for now. But I think it's about time we bring out the big guns. Not firearms, but I think it's about time we got a bit of an ally. This is my friend Akai. He's a long-standing mine Minecraft player that's been playing since the beta and he knows his way around mods if I wanted to build an empire this was the ally I would need and he also negotiates like no other person days 2 to 10 around the time when it became morning I then decided to meet up with Akai on this random location that it was coordinates that he gave me so it was some random mountain that he ended up at yo oh my you're red yo. you're so red Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I got that <laughs> <laughs> Decided it would be a good idea to start exploring a little bit and find some structures. We ended up finding this kind of cool looking base that didn't look very abandoned to be honest. It's so slow. <laughs> Dude, why are we so slow? <laughs> wait, is that a structure? Wait, 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 check if there's anyone inside. I'm not I'm not trying to make no enemies yet, bro. We just joined the server. I don't see anybody. <laughs> Dude, our shadows are you mungus? They are. But I started looking around and I couldn't find a single person living there. Oh, Where's the door? Uh, oh my god. Oh, you bring, can't fit. You this. can't fit. You know what? You know what? Come follow me. Follow me. We did grief it a little bit. Just a little bit though. So we decided to fix the place up. It was also a bit cramped in there, but honestly, we may do, okay? We, we can't be beggars and choosers. Let's be real here. We also had to make a bit of an extended door, but you know what? The sniffer's life is hard. All right. Before we knew it, we made our lovely humble abode here. Aiden, I'll get it by me. What? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, dude. They have a name? Do they? 
Also, we constantly got attacked by random pillagers that would just pop up at our base. Really strange, honestly. Also, ended up finding a bit of a village. We looted the bread of the village, and I went around a few structures to see what I can find. There weren't too many chests in this village, unfortunately, but there was quite a bit of, like, population, so maybe we can breed them. But this is soon where we came to realize this was one of our big mistakes. The one thing we didn't know at that moment was that was not just home to the villager. It was also home to a player on the server. I was playing as a villager more. It's kind of creepy looking looking back at this footage but basically they were eyeing us down as we started completely stealing from this village until afterwards they realized we were just trashing the whole place what the hell are you looking at buddy yeah you don't like you taking his cross Buzz Buzz whoa up. these are my whoa it's the player it's the player it's the player hold on hold on i'm so slow, I'm so slow too <laughs> Oh my god, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. He had nothing. So they started attacking Akai viciously. This wasn't a joke because we were on player territory. If they had a whole group, we probably just angered the entire group of them. But you know what? We're not backing down, all right? We decided to kill that villager in cold blood. And you know what the most embarrassing part is? I forgot to pull out my axe, so instead I smacked him with my hand. I think in exchange for the sniffers being really slow in speed, he deal a little bit more damage, which is really interesting. Look at how sad this loot was, bro. Homie dropped a bone. Like, you for real right now? Well, we had to basically bounce because, you know, again, I didn't want to anger no villager group. I just wanted to kill that one off because they were attacking my boy. We thought it was a good idea to go on a bit of a mining trip. We ended up in this really strange cave, but we also got ourselves a good set of iron tools and armor. Now, for you guys that don't know, we actually can grow in size. And basically, size depends on how powerful you are. If you upgrade on an armor set or you get a bunch of EXP, it'll gradually grow your size out. So us as a sniffer, we're currently in the baby state. The second we put this armor on, we basically grow, I'd say, say two times in size honestly but yeah this is what we look like now we grew up in power days 10 to 20 after doing a bit of looking around we finally found out where the pillagers were coming from in the first place we also found a witch there that poisoned her own teammates but what we were after weren't actually the mobs we were after the loot you feel me but the loot there kind of sucked i'm not gonna lie but it does look cool this adventure of ours continued after we left the place and found ourselves at some strange looking ruins genuinely thought there was going to be spawners underneath here and we'd basically start some sort of raid but honestly there wasn't much we did find a chest but it wasn't much either we also need to find ourselves an ocean biome because if you didn't know sniffer eggs which is how you would get sniffers in a normal minecraft world actually come from the ocean biome and you'd find them in ruins we didn't know that at the time so we kind of ended up searching for ages but i finally decided to search up where to find the sniffer eggs in the first place since at that time i didn't have any clues neither did akai i thought he was supposed to be a pro at this game but to the bottom of the oceans we go and starts our aquatic adventure we're with the fishes we actually killed them we murdered them because I needed food. And then we found out we can breathe underwater. Like, what? That was kind of fire, but it makes sense since the eggs come from the ocean. I'd assume there would be an ocean kind of mob, you know? After a bunch of exploring, we ended up finding one sniffer egg. Now, I know it's not much, but there was a lot of chests that had nothing in them at all. But we did hear people talking about the scarcity of this stuff on the server in specific because of one group. More on that later, though, because that's getting into some dangerous territory. Then we got jumped by this beluga whale. Hey, yo, what the heck? Whoa! What the hell is this? I'm gonna die. Go to land, 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 bro. Oh, I'm gonna die. I have two hearts. It was actually so chaotic. Yo, what the hell is this? I'm gonna die. I have two hearts. It was actually so chaotic because right when we reached land, we started getting attacked by a squadron of pillagers. What the? What is that? I'm blind. I'm blind. Blind? I'm actually blind. I can't see a thing. I don't know. I saw like this magician or something. And also this guy that multiplies. Oh my gosh. I'll make sure I don't go in the water. Oh my gosh. They're multiplying. There's a pillager that's multiplying. What? Wait, what the heck? Dude, you're dead. Oh, oh my gosh. A whole army just came out of run if you can. I'm surprised we even got out of that alive, to be honest. Maybe for now we should stay out of the water. That seems like the best idea. We'll take the one sniffer egg that we do have and just be on our way. That was a little bit of the realization factor that, hey, maybe we should get some diamond stuff to actually keep up with all the mobs. There's a lot going on in this mod pack, and I was not ready for it. Neither was Akai. Curse these little legs, dude. I can't get up. <laughs> So the diamond mining arc began. After a bunch of mining, we didn't really get too lucky, but we did end up finding something really interesting. By interesting, I do mean life-threatening and something we probably should have avoided in the first place. But you know what they say, no risk, no reward, baby. So this is what we found. A very peculiar looking area that was kind of like a, a cube of uh, obsidian and other blocks. I like to call this the red room. Now let me give you some information about this lovely red room of ours. It is no place for starting players, okay? This place is filled to the brim with powerful mobs that have enchants beyond comprehension a lot of the players on the discord server actually warn us about finding a red room and just to kind of give you guys a bit of a comparison they recommend us going in there with full enchanted netherite 
Like what? If you guys are enjoying the content so far, it would mean the world to me if you could hit that subscribe button. These videos take a lot of effort to make, so hitting that button would really help me out big time. Back to the video. But me and Akai were really curious about what was actually inside of it and why it was so difficult to go in there in the first place. Should I have done this during a hardcore challenge? Probably not. Am I gonna regret this? Maybe. Only one way to find out. We soon realized that there's actually a bunch of mob spawners in there, making it really difficult to access any of inside the room. So we kind of had to like beat around the bush basically and try getting some like light hits in with a bow but that also didn't really work that well we noticed that one of the chests or most of the chests were actually at the bottom floor luckily for us the placement of this structure was really weird and it ended up being that the floor was actually accessible to us so we decided to do operation one which was going underneath and taking the chest loot you good bro <laughs> yeah dude i wonder what shipper tastes like what is it called again sniffer shipper? sniffer yeah what it tastes what like the, yeah i wonder what they taste like probably really grassy but, really mossy i hope not yeah <laughs> talking about on the inside pal. <laughs> Unfortunately, only one of the chests were actually available, but look at how good this stuff is. There's literally netherite in here. What, do you see something? <laughs> this chest? I opened it. But you're in the chest right now? I'm in the chest. I'm in the chest. What's I'm in, in there? the chest. Look okay, at the stuff I just picked up, bro. I don't even know what I just grabbed. <laughs> Hey, yo, netherite. Hello? Should we get more? Should we get more? But like, this is the only one that's underneath. Everything else is covered. We wanted to get some more of the other chests, but they were kind of like engulfed underground. And I didn't exactly know how to pinpoint where it was, seeing that it wasn't opened up. So that would make things really difficult. Maybe we could come back here in a different time. I'm honestly fortunate enough to even be alive right now. And Akai stupidly decided to do this, where he's just stuck in the middle for some reason, dancing. Yo, Aiden, look oh. where I am, dude. Oh, Check it out. Why are you in the... Check it out. Dude. Dude, it's so nice, right? <laughs> I'm building up, I'm building up, I'm building up. Oh my god. Dude. Don't worry, he got out. He had an ender pearl. After we reaped the benefits of the lovely red room and just mining in general, we decided to come back home after a long day of mining. For a few days, we thought we could just sit back, relax, and just chill out a bit. But honestly, the moment we came back to our base, that we worked so hard on repairing, we watched it being destroyed by a turtle. A stupid turtle. The thing we didn't realize at the moment was that that turtle was actually more powerful than us. Because of the fact that turtles are generally small in size, we didn't realize that turtle was actually a higher power level than us. So remember, the more stacked and powerful you get, the farther you grow in this SMP. We tried our best efforts attacking the turtle that was griefing our base, but he attacked back and chased me all the way into the forest. But one thing we didn't expect, cause we expected to honestly die at that very moment but he decided to run away for some reason my best guess is because there was two of us so we decently did a bit of damage to him but you got me messed up if you really think i'm gonna let this turtle just walk away carefree after grief in my base he's 20 to 40 it's got personal okay and at the end of the day we're not wasting time because we're trying to become the most powerful on the server as well so we slowly followed the turtle back to where he was headed honestly it was a little far away but we still kept tabs on him until i finally lost him and that's where we found a gang of turtles based in some very strange looking tower and then we got jumped by a really hostile one hey, 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 whoa, hey, whoa, hey, listen, listen, we're not here for wait, trouble, bro. Listen, hey, listen, hey, listen, hey, listen, hey, listen, hey, listen, hey, listen. No, we just want to talk. We just want to talk. Stay away. Come on, what do you want? We wanted an alliance. We wanted to team up with you guys. Stay back, man. Stay back. Stay back. No? You came up to our house and started like breaking a bunch of stuff. And I can tell it was you too. You have that red tone. That means we smacked you. All right. <laughs> a lot. Uh, had to be you. Which one of you talking? You talking? <laughs> no, bro. I'm not saying that. You your flappy, your flappy legs. Hey, I just came to be friends, pal. Hit me again, and I'm gonna stab you up. I'm stabbing you, bro. I got shot. You know what? You know what? Oh, you got a shank? Guess what? Yeah, I, got I have a diamond shank, sword. What's smite shank, on it? What's smite on it? Shank, Who are you? Who are you? Shank, exactly. You Get out of here. Get out of here. Ah, run, 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 run. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> He's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh my, he's doing damage. He's doing damage. Right, we're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. Out of there. We're out. Yeah. He started smacking us with a knife or something. We had to run away. Listen, okay. My plan was just to become an ally with them because we need allies on this server. We don't know nobody. But end of the day, he didn't want to be friends. So, we, you know, Akai did try threatening him to be fair. But the stab back, I guess, was a little deserved. At least he didn't kill us off, though. After a bit of investigating on the Minecraft server and on the Discord we had, we also found out that the turtles had a master scheme which was to take the most sniffer eggs within the world's borders of the SMP. In a nutshell, we can't infinitely explore on the SMP because there are borders set on the map, and they have been just taking any sniffer egg they possibly can because of the new 1.20 update, and they wanted to hoard it all for themselves. Now, I know this kind of sounds like a bad thing, but in reality, they actually took the time out to collect every sniffer egg that they can possibly find on the server 
and put it all in one sweet spot for us to take from. This is where we begin our first heist on the SMP. The concept is simple. For us to build our sniffer civilization, we need to rob them of their sniffer eggs and we needed a plan fast. After doing a bit of digging on the mod pack that we had, we found this thing called a drill. We were able to utilize our netherite to actually make these drills that we got from the red room. And what it basically is, is it lets us mine in incredible speeds and efficiency. And it's the key to this heist, basically. The thing is, we could normally just mine with a pickaxe, but it would take almost twice or three times as much time. And that's just simply because of our sheer size. We are massive sniffers. Besides our key item, the goal is simple. Try our best to avoid any conflict since I'm not allowed to die in this challenge sneak into their base without getting noticed, set up a route for escape, and transfer all of the sniffer eggs I possibly can. Now Akai has a bit of a different job than me. His job was being the distraction for us. While I did the sneaking into the base and robbing, he would basically attack on one of their members or lead them away in any way, shape, or form from their base. Oh my god, that. I do. Do you think they have their sounds on? Or should we wait? Make sure to shift. Oh gosh, make sure to shift. Make sure to shift. Okay, I'm shifting. I can't hear it. So the plan was set in motion. I also decided to make a boat with a chest on it. And that's simply because I needed a place to store all my items so I could collect the eggs, just in case there was a lot of them. And so the heist began. Akai went on up and started claiming that there was a war going on between the turtles and another nation. So we heard rumors from the Discord server that someone else was also beefing with them. So I mined up to their area and I started taking a bunch of their eggs. Turns out it was not only sniffer eggs. They had turtle eggs and they had chicken eggs so your boy took every egg he could possibly find all right we were getting vengeance okay because what they did to our base was not cool God, damn. can you hear me i heard you i heard you okay, okay. i'm out here dip 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 dip, dip. No, my baby my children. After we got back from the first official heist on the SMP, we brought back the goods to a nearby ocean and we began our escape. Now the turtles are on the nation's radar. Simply just means that we are going to be noticed amongst the other nations and seen as a bit of a threat or an ally if people want to ally with us. But after today's heist, I don't know if they'd want to. You know what? I wasn't even scared. We don't even have a base of operations anymore for them to even raid. At least the turtles had a place to call home, all right? Us as sniffers, we do not have that. Thus began the great sniffer migration or at least that's what I decided to call it. On the other side of that ocean we decided to go through, we found this really nice looking place. And we thought, hey, this would be a really nice place to start the hatching. There's also a nice little river for when they actually hatch, they can basically swim around in there. So we placed the eggs in a little place that we made for all the magic to happen. Also decided to use our mining drills to actually make us a nice place for this and decided to make it a bit of a sandy floor just to give it a little bit of a homey feel. We also made a second floor to this, which is pretty cool. But afterwards, it ended up looking like this. All right, listen, we're not the best builders. We get it. We're not the best terraformers either, but it was working. Okay, so we began the hatching process. We also needed to make ourselves a bit of a wheat farm because obviously, how would they survive without food? food so we got some seeds from akai akai also decided to drop ancient debris like a weirdo by the way i'm starting to think he doesn't really know what he's doing on here this is how our farm ended up looking like during this time we were also trying to figure out how to get even bigger than the forms we had at the moment because the more bigger we get that means the more stronger we get and the more faster we get so we really needed those upgrades so we were gonna need to get stronger fast because what if the turtles actually come back to get revenge on us or something that would not be good for either of us days 40 to 60 during this time our turtles also ended up hatching but but we were mainly just kind of stockpiling on food. We found a turtle that ended up onto our land and eyeing down the stolen goods we had taken from their base, which was our sniffer army. We told him to hop into VC and ask him why he even sided with them in the first place. What the heck? Is this this guy again, again bro? No, 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 no. Pop, pop. Oh my god. What do you want? I got disowned. They told me I was too dumb. You got disowned by the turtle people? Yeah, because I was too dumb. And I fell for I fell for the stupid distraction. Oh, look, our baby's giving you a kiss. He's giving you a kiss. Oh, look. Exactly. They love me. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you How yeah. do you feel about this guy? You know, I'm we came to your land trying to get an alliance. And that's why you got kicked out. I can negotiate with you. No, oh, no, no, no. what do you That's have it. to negotiate? I bought, mm -hmm. I bought the last of my, my prizes. I have a couple more of these mm, they put up a, that's a good that's argument a, that's a good deal bro uh -huh. you have four sniffer eggs yeah, <laughs> only four <laughs> that's four it that's all dude tell you what if you do decide to join up forces with us are you willing to switch into sniffers yeah, we're not keeping honest. you as a turtle if i'm being perfectly honest i, I hated the turtle mm, i like that energy i like that energy I like that's that very fake too. of you that's very fake of you. Kind of short. Like a third world country. <laughs> it's kind of like a doormat. He <laughs> is kind of like a doormat. <laughs> we could feed him to our freshly born babies, okay? They haven't ate yet. 
I know they're hungry. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying it's an option. And then we decided to negotiate with him, and he ended up asking to join our team. Basically, he got kicked out of his own team, and he wanted to join ours. But we told him there's no way we're letting a turtle join our team. So as long as he morphs into a sniffer, we're on good terms, you know? We were also told by his teammates he was a little bit loopy in the head, so we had to keep an eye on him. Not in the sense that he griefed us or anything, but in the sense that he didn't really know what he was doing. But with him around, he could basically watch the army while me and Akai were gone on a nether adventure. Since we we wanted to make some progress on the ender dragon fight that we had to do at the end of the series but we thought in our minds if we do it early we'll basically be sniffers with elytras now by the way we weren't allowed to actually kill the ender dragon until the announcement was basically made but we decided to jump the gun on that because the owners were on hiatus we were probably gonna get a lot of people mad with this but you know what we needed the extra cushion all right what if we get shot off somewhere we found ourselves a bit of a lava pool and finally made ourselves a nether portal Ta-da! just to get hit by the worst nether spawn we could possibly ask for which is lava literally right behind us burning both me and Akai not to death but I mean pretty low all it would have taken is some instant snipe from a blaze and we were gone as if things couldn't get any worse I looked up and I found a horror show of a creature above me do you see that thing right now it was some terrifying dragon blaze looking creature above us I was honestly getting a really bad vibe from the nether but we had to explore the place to actually get the stuff for the end fight and then we realized someone else came through the portal that we didn't recognize so we got our weapons out ready to fight because we were in a really bad situation all it would have taken is one tap and we would have been in the lava. We're confused as to how they even found the portal. We thought we were really in a secure area. Neither of us leaked the cords or anything. Hi guys. Where are you? I'm good, dude. I, I kinda got home. This guy is so stupid. He left our sniffer egg and our sniffer like nation basically. Then we realized it was our lousy teammate that was supposed to take care of the, the sniffer army. Yeah, it was him. He said he got lonely, bro. On the luckier side of things, we actually ended up spawning right next to a nether castle. So we didn't have to spend a lot of time looking for that thing. Mind up into it, but those that don't know, a nether castle is basically where you can get the blaze rods from because there are spawners in here. But there's also some wither skeletons, so we had to be careful. But then we also found ourselves another cool looking structure right behind. It. Now, I didn't exactly know what I was looking at, but it looked amazing. And then your boy got himself some pig step. Yeah, I found it in a chest. All right, I did it. It's one of my favorite music discs in Minecraft. I found this thing called Nether Cactus. It looked kind of interesting. We also found ourselves a bastion. Found some diamond armor and a bunch of other stuff from in here. We found a few more structures, but nothing notable. And then we got jumped by a gas, but it's okay. I sniped him. And we got smacked up by a piglin, but he also got packed. So we decided it was time to work on that Ender Dragon goal of ours. I think that was enough messing around in the Nether. But again, we had to be careful on this one because if anyone caught sight of us actually trying to get to the Ender Dragon fight, we would probably get banned because again, we're not allowed to kill this Ender Dragon unless it's officially announced. But rules or not, we wanted to get ourselves a hold of an elytra we were gonna break some rules after the other two managed to mine up a bunch of the gold at the bastions we went to we then traded with piglins for ender pearls this thing took quite a while because the luck of ours was just not there but eventually we did manage to get ourselves enough ender pearls for the fight afterwards we then went blaze hunting we found another nether monument which felt really out of place but honestly it looked sick the loot in it was kind of mid though i tried convincing the other two to actually go back to the nether castle that we spawned through but they wanted to just find a new one because why not more loot right think it was just an excuse for them to explore more of the nether because they seem to really like it then we found ourselves at this thing called the nether end city yeah, I can't even make this stuff up. Look at this thing. It looks insane. Then they hit us with the jungle temple that was also rigged with TNT, by the way. Not safe at all. Oh my god. I killed the jellyfish. Attack one of them jellyfish creatures. Apparently, it blew up in my face. I think they're known as hydrogen jellyfish. I think that's the actual mob name. Could be wrong on that, though. After getting everything we needed, we ended up traveling back into the overworld and to check up back on the sniffer nation that our third teammate decided to leave barren with no protection. But it was a relief. The eggs were fine, and we began working on some more base operations. Also, I think we lost a third teammate in the nether somewhere. He didn't really come back with us. And this is how it ended up looking. Day 60 to 80. We were on the hunt. We were scouting out our prey these little vermins oh my god look it's mordecai then we killed mordecai and spit out his feather we were just scouting out the turtles base to see if we could figure out if they were up to anything we didn't really get much from there and then i remembered the pirate ship we found at the beginning of the series we still haven't looted that place so we went over there and took the place over by storm all uh, right you hear them they're in there I'm taking over abandoned ship, you bozos. They're doing a lot of damage. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my, I think I'm gonna join. oh my god. Oh my god. What is that? Are you alive? They're I'm chasing alive. you. Is that Jason? They have god. mercenaries on their ship. He spawned right in my face. I know they do so much damage. The guys with the axe. 
broke it. I broke it. I broke it. I broke it. I broke it. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna... I don't. I don't. You should get a shield. That's why I'm putting running. I don't know. Play a bow game. Play a bow game. Get out of here. Oh, we got it all already? Yeah, yeah, we got it. We got it. <laughs> not gonna lie. They did some heavy hits. The loot was not worth the amount of effort it took, but hey, we got a free pirate ship. The information expands once more. After exploring a whole bunch to look for some more structures, we found this place called the Thorndorn Tower. This place was massive. Tried our best exploring and looting it, but for some reason, my hearts were glitching and I didn't have my second row. So we were down to a normal amount of health once again for some reason. Maybe as we grow into an even bigger sniffer, we then lose our extra hearts in exchange for attack damage and speed. Plus, we had really high jump boost, so maybe that was also a thing. <laughs> oh my right. god! Yeah, 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 you're laughing. All that laughing. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa, he has knockback. At the very top of it, there was a skeleton riding a phantom with a knockback bow. Like, what? Honestly, some unreal stuff. So we basically bounced because if we got shot by that bow on this tower, we would have been gone. The whole challenge over. After the little dilemma we just went through, we wanted to actually start looking for the stronghold and also prepare for the Ender Dragon fight as a whole. We were still missing quite a few things, so we went to work on that straight away. Remember a third teammate that got lost in the nether? Yeah, his name's Xander. Xander was also actually our informant because he never officially told the turtle nation that he was leaving them so Xander told us how they wanted to get back at us somehow while he was still in the turtle nation's group chat on discord which meant we also had to make war preparations which was really annoying but not gonna lie we kind of saw this coming so we spent a bunch of time killing a bunch of creepers so we can get a buttload of gunpowder now you might be asking me why the heck do we need gunpowder are you making tnt are you gonna blow their base up no 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 for that we actually need to get to their base and then we need to do a lot of prerequisite stuff we needed gunpowder and we need a bit of paper for those that know you know if you don't then you'll find out shortly that being said we began to make a wheat a sugarcane farm that's what i meant to say now this took quite a bit of time but i think honestly it was worth it because we did need ourselves a bunch of paper after all that hard work this is what it ended up looking like what you guys think lastly the final thing we need to do here was breed a bunch of sheep in the most sanitary way possible of course we recreated the trenches in minecraft i'm not joking by the way we literally just made a gigantic pit and then stuffed a bunch of sheep in them and then started breeding them it was pretty bad but it sure does look cool in a nutshell we needed the paper and the gunpowder to make us some fireworks so when we finally do get the elytras we can fly around the world at any speed so imagine a gigantic sniffer just flying across the world majestically roaming and doing as it pleases that's not us though we're gonna be doing war crimes with it but you kind of get the point right and then we made the sheep pit basically because we need some beds to kill the ender dragon after all of that was completed we finally began heading over to the stronghold area after making the eye of enders of course in order to get some elytras it'll be the main thing that we have over the turtle nation just in case they do plan on getting revenge we could get out of there unscathed simply using fireworks and our elytra will be our scapegoat also the strongest group we know of on the server so they have to go down for us to become the strongest nation on the server this is one of the goals after a bunch of searching we finally end up finding it mine down with our drills and also notice that there's a couple player place things which isn't really a good sign which might mean there's another nation here luckily if there was we didn't actually run into them and akai finally finds the strongholds after getting jumped by silverfish puts in the eye of enders and then we enter the portal to the end this for sure will be a little difficult especially with our hitboxes being gigantic as we are gigantic sniffers that word is so weird to say and let me not forget we need to craft one last thing because we needed one thing that would get us past this lovely end fight of ours a glock 19 and you can't have a gun without ammunition of course like, let's be real here how else are we gonna do this end fight and face those towers without dying and so the fight began overall it wasn't really that difficult we had a lot of arrows to work with especially because i had myself an infinity glock which is by the way just a retextured bow i'm burning right get now get a melee hit get a melee hit all right i'm running i'm running Just gotta get yeah. one, you just gotta get you one. Ah! Let's go, bro. Let's go, dude. But after all of that, Akai went in and sliced the dragon into basically particles. And that was only part one of everything. We then decided to go into the modded end dimension near the end islands. Every time I step into this modded end, it honestly amazes me how incredible the actual modding of the biomes and all the blocks here are. They're so like glowy. I don't know how else to explain it. Explored a bunch of places and searched for an end city and a beautiful looking biome. Yep, now that's that. Then we found some trashed end ship and found a map to a secret location. We followed the map to see where it would actually lead us to. We ended up at an end city. Luckily, the map actually led us to one of these end cities. I guess the ship just had coordinates or something. But it was the wrong end city. This is the one without the elytra. So if you guys didn't know, an end city requires to have a ship that's connected to it. Within that ship is where you would find your elytra. But this one didn't have a ship. 
or any extensions and it was really sad looking he literally couldn't find one with a ship on it it was that bad and look at this lame as heck n city and no oh wait it has a ship we found one so we got ourselves one of the elytras we need to find ourselves a second one so akai has one as well we look for a second elytra for akai but we ended up finding us a bit of an end cave and an end mine shaft yeah those exist i found a decked out pickaxe within there as well like look at these stats and a skillet why is there a skillet in a mine shaft or minecraft we ended up finding another end city how are you gonna get there man you got one shot this shot. is your elytra bro your elytra is on that ship and you're watching dude perfect 360. Oh, come on <laughs> all your friends watching right now yo, yo. this is dude fixed and if i make this 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 is the bro you gotta you gotta like comment subscribe everything down below i, I don't care follow his twitter he's almost a 10k that one landed that's right there that's, that's the one yep. that's the one yep. that's the one I, I over i overshot that i'm in the tree it's fine and we escape soaring through the sky like the majestic sniffers i was talking about earlier e then we headed on back to our base. I was considering getting Xander one, but it was a lot of effort to even find these two. And we took up a lot of our time, which is really not good. We still have a lot to do here. That Turtle Nation is going down. Because of the sheer amount of time we actually spent there, we didn't realize our base was basically unprotected. While we were fighting the dragon, they came by and slaughtered all of the sniffers we hatched and griefed the place with lava. But we did have some good news. So apparently, Akai did some more digging into the mod pack and what it actually adds. Apparently, we can now make a warden set of armor. But we'll need to kill the warden a bunch of times and basically farm him a little bit. And if our assumptions are right, we'll also grow in size after wearing the warden armor because that warden armor is the most powerful armor on the server even better than netherite gear explain there's two ways to do this there's a method where we can use iron golems to fight them off since they can outlast warden screech attack but we need pumpkins and hella iron for that which is the one i was kind of leaning towards more and the second method is that we do a glitch where the warden suffocates after being transported using modded items that akai's been trying to obtain days 80 to 90 we message xander about the population of sniffers basically being non-existent besides the four sniffer eggs that i decided to hold from xander's initial gift apparently he did get lost in the nether and decided to hop off the smp for a while so xander after hopping back on went to go rob the turtle nation since he never officially told them he switched sides me and akai on the other hand we went to go explore and find us some pumpkins because we didn't really see any nearby so we can make the iron golems we found this random outpost and we also found a pumpkin patch so we began the agricultural revolution part two if you're wondering where part one was that was the we not the weed farm the sugarcane farm we grew sugarcane not drugs we also started to miss our home and all the sniffers that we actually grew up there which is now a cemetery to many of them by the way may they sniff in peace not for us though because we got a warden fight which means it was time to find a warden they tend to spawn in a specific area called an ancient city so we headed back down to that really dangerous area with the red room because we did notice that there were pieces and signs of an ancient city there i call it the doom room find this place we did have to split up but eventually akai found it and we all headed over to him we tried out the iron golem method now you're at the yep you found it you're bringing him you're bringing him you're bringing him But it really didn't work out very well. The warden was just not fighting the iron golems for some reason and instead wanted to fight us. So that was a major problem. So we decided to switch up tactics and I decided to make this interesting looking gap in the floor. Basically the concept is the warden will treat the trap doors as if they were actual blocks. And if we stand far enough, we won't get the darkness effect and we'd be able to just bow spam it. And it worked. We farmed the heck out of the wardens, collected hella echo shards and we got out of there. Then we started stacking up on some warden armor and some tools and this is basically the crafting recipe for all that stuff i also made myself a sick looking blade the netherite armor came from the red room that akai was holding on to also decided to make ourselves a bunch of golden apples as well and we were set for war the turtle nation did not know what was coming to them alongside this i also worked on a bit of a netherite project myself now these are the new drills that we have some powerful ones at that too this one is called the attack drill which basically charges up and lunges us forward and attacks whatever we bump into the second one which is my more favorite one the destroyer drill that 
destroys anything in its path. They don't know what's coming to them. We've been pushed around by these turtles a bit too long, all right? We were gonna get our vengeance. They literally slaughtered our entire nation. This is gonna be fun. On our way there, we also found something that was really unexpected. We were literally just on our way to the turtle nation and we ended up finding a colossal sniffer. I'm not kidding. Look at the size of that thing. This is my size. And look at that. This thing was the size of a skyscraper. We were not even gonna go near it. It's either one of the admins or someone more powerful than the turtle nation that we just haven't heard about which is crazy really hoping that thing doesn't side with the turtle nation or even enters the war at all days 90 to 100 this is where things get real this begins the second heist of this morph smp first one ending off successful but this one is a lot more bloody so people would call it we began our escape from our base of the slaughtered sniffers to mess up this stupid turtle nation at first we were just scouting from a distance we didn't want to be too hasty this time around they probably have their sounds on seeing after we drilled into their base last time so instead of going from underground we decided to go aerial we were gonna hit them from the skies and they wouldn't even know what was coming all three of us me xander and akai the goal was basically simple we'd start a fight with them and we also had a bunch of bows so we'd basically shoot them from below we'd also get on top of their base and use the drills that we now have to destroy the entire base use the attack drills as their weapons so we began bridging at first i didn't want to put mine on because i wanted the full set of warden protection kai decided to fly down and flanked him from a different side to take out some of the outliers as well everything was going according to plan nothing could go wrong we managed to build to the top of their base but then the turtles caught notice and started shooting arrows at us we were mainly here to destroy the base and if things went wrong xander actually had some explosives with him so we had a backup plan as well so going back and forth with this bow battle i decided to shoot some of the normal turtles that didn't seem like they were players so we can cut their population down as well my boots yeah give me uh, your boots yeah, got an idea quick quick quick, quick. yep there you go there you go thanks 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 oh my god what are you serious <laughs> What the f*** happened? Is everything okay? Dude, I am so You're kidding. Done. Did you die? Look at chat, bro. Look at chat, bro. Oh. Someone hit me. No, with a drill. It was uh, it was the person we teamed with. Are you serious? At, like day 90 something. Nah, bro. I'm hopping off, bro. I'm hopping off. All that time wasted because of an ally that betrayed us. If you guys want to see more content like this, click here.